Hey guys, how we doing? Today I am coming to you to give you a tutorial on how to make this sublimated ceramic tile with, guess what? Ceramic tiles and lamination sheets. So let's get started. So up in Home Depot, they have these and they have, um, you get the whole case for $16, so that makes it $0.16 cents per tile. These are 4 by 4 This one that I ended up making is a 6 by 6 but I like the 4 by 4 tile better. I mean, depending on what you're making, actually, you can either go for the 6 by 6 or the 4 by 4 But anyway, I end up getting these from Home Depot, and I end up printing some, some files on... The Google, the Google, <laughs> on Google, and I end up printing out this one with my sublimation printer, and I'm also using this one. So let's get started. So right now I have this lamination sheets, and they come in a pack of 25, 10. And I got a pack of 300 because I like to do a lot of different projects. So the easiest way to do this is open them up and just rip it open. And then you want to cut this down to four by fours. Here goes my four by four. And I have two of them. And for my project, you want to definitely get some alcohol and prep your tiles. So these are four by four subway tiles. Like I said, you can get them bigger or smaller. So what you want to do is get some alcohol and rub some alcohol on it. And clean them really good. Then, once it's dry, I'm going to take this to my heat press. I'm going to line these up right in the middle. And the tile is four and a quarter. But I end up doing four by four because, you know, these tiles have a, bevel, a beveled edge. So I'm going to take these to my heat press and I'm going to heat press them down for 20 seconds. And I'll be right back. Next step is you want to bring your heat mat in. You want to put some heat gloves because these things are really hot. I put them in for 20 seconds. And now I'm going to look at them and check it to see if there's any bubbles. If there is, you take your scraper and you scrape it. And now, you want to get your heat tape and your images, and you want to line them up in the middle, and you want to tape them down. Ooh, that's hot. I think I'm going to wait a second. And remember, this is five four hundred degrees, so you want to be very careful not to burn yourself. Okay, so I got that one done. I'm gonna do the other one, then I'm gonna put it in my heat press at four hundred degrees for sixty seconds. Okay. Okay, remember that when you're going to use this, this is sublimation, it bleeds through. So you want to use copy paper, butcher paper, some type of paper to grab all the ink transfer that's going to come from the fumes. Okay, so I'm back from the heat press. And I got both my images right on my heat mat. And... I really hope they came out super cute. So I'm going to let them cool down a little bit because it's super hot. I do got my heat gloves, but sometimes these are just not good enough. So I'm just going to take the tape off. This 
is so such an inexpensive gift that you can give out to family members to people oh cool wow that came out really good i kind of lost a little bit of the crown right up there but overall the image is beautiful oh wow so now we're gonna do the other one and I love me some Cardi B. Okay. And now we're just going to peel this one off. And I hope this one came out nice. Oh, yeah. That one came out really good. Wow. I got the lint from the gloves. But look at how cool that is, guys. So we got two images. And they look like they belong on there. Now, the best part about this, guys, is that if by any chance you mess up, you could just take a little... Take the edge of the corner and lift it right up. And then you have the paper. And if you ever make a mistake, look at how quick and easy. You don't miss out on anything. And this is super fun, quick and easy. And just imagine putting your loved one pictures on this and making a, a mural on the wall. Even doing the Scrabble letters, guys. Wow, you sublimate the Scrabble letters on this and you put you make a frame. Oh wow, that's such a good idea. Yes. So guys, there goes my project. Thank you so much for watching. This is so cool. And it definitely A game changer to try to sublimate different things so you can also go and buy sublimation tiles they're a little bit on the pricey side but also if you guys want i haven't done it yet but i'm thinking about trying it if you guys want me to make a video let me know in the comments below to see how it comes out I'm thinking about doing some ceramic towels with the polyacrylic. Brush it down, have it really dry, and then sublimate on it. Who knows? You let me know if you want me to do a video. Okay? And there you go, guys. So here goes a quick project for you guys to do. Something to get in your craft room and try to design. So until next time, guys, thank you so much for watching. If you like this video, please thumbs it up. Subscribe. Let me know what you think. Definitely, I'm trying to come back and I'm having a lot of fun figuring out little different things. I have another project that I'm coming along with and I'm just waiting on all the materials. I already got some of the, the projects. Well, not the projects, but the products. And it's going to be super cute and awesome. So guys, until next time, thank you so much for watching. Smooches. Bye.